What is the use of a linking verb? If our purpose is to convey a message in order to express a state or condition, then linking verb is best to use in our statements. For example, in a job interview, why should the company hire you? Then you can say, I am competent, creative, and committed to deliver results. Take note of the linking verb am, which is used to link the subject I, to the adjectives creative, committed, and competent, where the statement was clearly expressed with the help of the linking verb to state a condition. Michelle's Learning Meal, where bite-sized lessons and insights are served. Welcome back to your channel, 21st Century Learners. By the way, Miss Michelle here, your grammar tour mentor. Back to Grammar Roadmap, your guide to grammar refinement. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos. Please like and share as well. Some intransitive verbs help to make a statement not by expressing action but by expressing a state or condition. These verbs link to the subject, a noun, pronoun, or adjective that identifies or describes it. They're called linking verbs. And the word that is linked to the subject is called subject complement. Let's illustrate the use of linking verb and the subject complement in this sentence. My sister Evelyn is a frontliner. In our sentence, the subject, my sister Evelyn, is linked by the linking verb is to the subject complement, help frontliner. Remember that the subject complement always refers back to the subject of the linking verb. Therefore, it identifies the subject. Also, the subject complement describes or modifies the subject. For example, the candidates remain calm and stunning despite the pressure. The subject candidates is linked by the linking verb remain to the subject complement calm and stunning, which are adjectives. Here, the subject complements stunning and calm describe or modify the subject. Now, what is the most common forms of linking verbs? Linking verb is verb be, which has the following forms. Am, is, was, where, be, being, been. And other verb phrases ending in be, being, and been. Such as is being, could have been, can be. Other common linking verbs are the following. Let's use a couple of them in sentences. You are the man. The plea sounds convincing. We can be friends, all right. So, remember that linking verbs are most appropriate to use if we want to identify the subject in our sentence or if we want to describe or modify what we're talking about. Want for more? Tune in next time here at Grammar Roadmap, your journey to grammar refinement. See ya!